Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood, and today we're gonna to give you a quick little demonstration of one of my favorite uses for the Eastwood metal cutting jig saw. Now I beat the crap out of this saw and use it all the time for cutting heavier metal and this is a perfect example to show you guys where this shines. So what I have here is a big piece of eighth inch steel and I have a pattern that I drew out here that has both inside and outside curves. So uh, number one, with this piece being so large, I'm not able to even get this into my shear on my bench to get clearance to cut this down or even get close to cutting the shape. The other thing is that it's very difficult, especially in thicker materials, eighth inch and up, to cut curves. It's, it's very difficult and what you end up doing is spending a lot more time with your sander or your grinder getting these shapes to fit when you rough cut it with a shear. So by using the Eastwood metal cutting jigsaw, I'm gonna be able to cut these shapes get it really really close to where it needs very minimal sanding and ready to put it in to make our custom cross member for my frame so let me lay out the pattern and I'll show you how nice this cuts all right so I made my first cut here and I wanted to give you guys a little tip that I've learned from uh, using this jigsaw. So if you want to kind of plan out your cut. So with this, uh, when I was looking at this, this curve right here isn't that steep, but what we have here is a over 90 that we need to make, um, we need to make this cut here. So we wouldn't be able to do this all in one shot. So what I did is I cut all the way beyond where that, that uh, tight corner is there. And what we could do is just come, come in just beyond that corner and just make this cut and lock this little piece here off. And then we can come in at an angle and just start making this cut all the way across and it should work out really well and it'll just take two cuts. And most importantly, we want this cut to be uh, as accurate as possible because this is the one that's, you know, the real long one that snakes along. So uh, I'm gonna get the panel spun around a little bit. I'm gonna clamp it down so it doesn't bounce around on me and then we can uh, make this uh, last cut on the first piece. All right, there we go. So we got the first cut made and I was able to follow right along that line and uh, pretty much was good. If you use a Sharpie, you can end up splitting the center of the Sharpie and ends up being pretty good. So uh, very little burr on this, which is really nice. Really nice smooth cut. We can literally take just a, a file or a piece of sandpaper and knock that off if that's what you want. And you have a nice clean uh, cut that'll work out really well. So now that I have this one cut, uh, I'm gonna move the plate around and cut the second one and uh, we should good be uh, good to go. Okay, at this one we're going to uh, kind of cut the opposite way because there's a, a lot of waste that we would have here cutting. We'd have to cut from here all the way over with the way we did it last time. So on this one, I'm gonna cut all the way up and like this and then we can just come straight up here and knock it off and uh, should work out. Just save some extra cutting. So just kind of plan out your cut like that regardless of where it is. Sometimes you can save yourself a little bit of cutting time or possibly some material by doing that. So again, I'm gonna start over here, cut all the way up to there. Then I can start, make this curve and cut up and it'll just leave that little piece hanging there, which should be, uh, should be fine. All right, so the metal cutting jigsaw made quick work of cutting these uh, curved brackets that I was making or curved outer edge on these brackets that I'm making and it should work out really well. Uh, basically all I'm gonna need to do is just sand off any surface rust that's on the metal from sitting around the shop and then of course just uh, just clean up the edges before I weld. But there's really no jagged edges, there's no slag, there's nothing like that that's left. So really we can just take a flap disc or a DA sander, run over this and it's pretty much ready to weld together. Now what I did in that last cut to actually make it go a little quicker is I speeded up the blade speed of the jigsaw. It has a one to six 
uh, speed setting that you can change right on the top on a dial. And I went up just slightly in the speed, the blade speed, speed, which allowed me to speed up my travel speed. And really what you need to do is just listen to the jigsaw as you're cutting. If you're pushing too hard, you will be slowing down the jigsaw or it may start to bind and, and kind of jump on you. So just listen to it and you may be able to speed up the blade speed to speed up your travel speed if you uh, think that it's going a little bit slow. Uh, but it just takes a little bit of trial and error to get it just right. But otherwise, it worked out really well and uh, I am ready to start putting my project together. So if you want to learn more about the Eastwood metal cutting jigsaw, you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks guys. Catch you later.